How's everyone doing? I'm back here again for another video, and in this video I've got another eBay unpackaging for you guys. Now I know I've been doing a lot of uh, eBay unpackaging, and the reason why is because I've just been finding a lot of really cool stuff on eBay. Uh, my next video will be another eBay unpackaging as well, but um, after that I am actually taking a break from buying stuff online because... You know, I've just been spending a lot of money online, a lot more than I think I should, so I'm going to go ahead and take a break from that. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm back here again with another eBay unpackaging, and uh, this is very, very cool. Um, these are two really awesome Japanese laser discs of two of my all-time favorite movies. If you guys have been following me, you guys know what movies they are, but they are Home Alone and Home Alone 2. Japanese laser discs, and these are both awesome. Um, I've been wanting to pick up a, ja a laser disc of Home Alone for a while, and for some reason they're just really expensive. Just the U.S. releases are really expensive on Amazon for some reason. So I checked eBay, and you know I've been looking at uh, different copies of you know different copies for sale of the first movie on laser disc. And then I came across the Japanese Laserdisc of the first film for $20, which I thought was a really good price because, you know, I've never bought a Japanese Laserdisc and I thought that, you know, the best, I think the best movie to get for my first Japanese Laserdisc would be Home Alone, you know, my favorite film of all time. And then I saw a seller selling both Home Alone 1 and 2 for only $15. So I thought, you know, for the price of... You know, I can either get the first one on, you know, Laserdisc for 20 or get them both. So I went ahead and I got them both, and I'm just really happy that I did. Um, these are both really awesome. Um, as you guys know, I don't collect a whole lot of Laserdiscs, mostly because, you know, for a while, the only place I could really get them at were, like, secondhand stores or at, you know, Goodwill. But now that I'm shopping online, I'm able to get more. And I do plan on picking more Laserdiscs up, and I want to get all of my favorite movies and these were the first two that I wanted to get, you know, because like I said, I absolutely love these films. They're two of my all-time favorite films, and I'm very happy to own them both on Japanese Laserdiscs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out of the uh, the plastic sleeves that these sellers sent them in and show them off in um, better detail. So first, I'm going to show off the original movie, Home Alone. And I absolutely love Laserdiscs just for the big, you know, the big packaging, you know, the big artwork on the front really awesome and it still has the uh, the OB right here which I'll zoom in on the front and of course right here it says home alone of course down the down the side and then there's the front and now I'm gonna go ahead and take them out of the uh, plastic sleeve this was really cool because the seller um, actually uh, put it in put them in these uh, plastic sleeves, which I'll go ahead and slide this one out. There's a sleeve, and not only were they, not only did the seller send them in plastic sleeves, but they also already have uh, plastic sleeves on them, which is very cool, so that's like double the protection. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and take this one out of the sleeve right here. If I can, if I can do it with just one hand, it might be kind of hard. Oh, and the OB actually came off. Huh. Yeah, the OB is still in the uh, in the plastic, but that's all right. Anyway, I probably should have took them out of the out of the sleeves with one hand, but I just wanted to show off what they looked like, you know, when I first uh, when I first received them. So there you go. And like I said, the OB. Still in the sleeve, but here is what the actual laser disc itself looks like, which is very very cool. Um, these are these um, these are in great condition. Um, you know they were being sold as um, very good condition, so I didn't know how good the conditions were going to be. I, I mean, you know uh, they had pit, you know the seller had pictures, and I was able to look at them, and they looked like they were in fairly good condition, but you can never really tell. But these look near mint. They look. They're absolutely, absolutely great condition. Um, but yeah, right here, Home Alone, just really great, uh, you know, image. Of course, the classic image of Kevin screaming, you know, with the window in the background, and you got, you know, Marv and, you know, and, and Harry, you know, them both, you know, Harry and Marv right there in the background, and you got the snow, of course, and uh, 
you, know, you got a little bit of a uh, Japanese up there, which I assume it says Home Alone. You know, yeah, it does. It's the same. It says Home Alone right up there. And you got the Fox video and the 20th Century Fox logos right up there. And then once again, you know, you got Harry, Marv, you know, Kevin. And then you got the LaserDisc logo right here. And then over here, the huge logo. And I just love, uh, I love when Home Alone is written, you know, the, the title in, in yellow and the little uh, blue house in the middle. I'm going to show you guys the back. And uh, most of it is written in, in English up here. And then the, uh, the credits down below are written in Japanese. But there's some great images. There's some of the same images that you see on the VHS releases. Like you got this, you know, the great image of when Kevin puts the um, aftershave on. And you got when, uh, you know, Harry and Marv right here outside. You know, Marv with the, uh, the imprint of, um, you know, the iron on, on his head. I just love that image. And, of course, Harry's got his, got his hair, you know, when his hair gets, gets burnt off. And here's a little shot of Kevin from when, um, you know, he notices that the cars are, are still there. So, you know, he doesn't think that his parents went to the airport. And then down here is the same credits, but in Japanese. And you got the cast right here. And then you got the uh, the list of songs, which is pretty cool. They go all the way down, you know, the songs that were, you know, featured in the film. And then there's just more Japanese, um, you know, information down here, like how long the movie is, NTSC. So if I had a Japanese, if I had a Laserdisc player, excuse me, I would be able to watch this since this is a NTSC uh, Laserdisc. And then down here it says uh, 1992 Fox Video Inc., uh, which means that, you know, this was released in 1992. And now I'm going to show off the actual Laserdisc itself. If I can pull it out of the... Out of the... Okay, so I'm just going to show off the, uh, the front right there. There's side two. And it says Home Alone right there. In Japanese. Really awesome. I absolutely love, love this one. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side, and then once again, there's the uh, the OB, and I'll go ahead and show off the uh, the back of the OB, which it says uh, advertisement for other films like Only the Lonely, um, Hot Shots, Driving Me Crazy, and then the Mel Gro the Mel Brooks film Life Stinks. Pretty cool. Now I'm going to move on to Home Alone 2, and I, even though I absolutely love the original film, and I love the, I love the green on the sides, I actually like the way this one looks a little bit better. I love the blue right here, and I love the red OB. Uh, but once again, plastic sleeve, so I'll go ahead and slide, slide out. And then, once again, it's still in uh, another plastic sleeve. Which is really great, you know, I like how that they were already in sleeves and then the, uh, you know, the seller put them in additional plastic sleeves just to make sure that it came to me um, in perfect condition. Uh, but once again, you know, right up here says Fox Video and this one says widescreen right here. The first one doesn't have this uh, widescreen logo, so I don't know if the first one is in widescreen or not. And then, of course, it says Home Alone and you got the big two right there. Very, very cool. Show off the back. And then there's some more uh, advertisements. Like this one is actually advertising the first Home Alone. And then you got My Cousin Vinny and Drive Me Crazy and Only the Lonely. Very cool. And then here is the Home Alone 2 Japanese Laserdisc. And like I said, I really like the blue in the background. I think it, I think it, it goes great with the blue sky you know, in the background. Um, you know, I just really, really like the blue. And it also goes great with the actual... Um, you know, the actual logo, Home Alone 2, the title with the uh, the outline of the city. Looks great. And then, of course, you have the classic image of Kevin right there holding the newspaper. And you got, you know, Harry and, and Marv right there on the skyscraper. And you got the title up there. Really, really nice. And in the back, there's a lot more uh, pics on the back than on the first one. Uh, like right there, it is when um, Harry and Marv slip. You know, when Kevin, uh, you know, gets the, uh, the little, uh, Christmas, um, whatever they're called, the one with the little balls and makes them all fall and just a lot of great images. There's Tim Curry right there. I love you. I love that scene.
And then there's the last scene in the movie, or the last, you know, when Kevin and, you know, his mom finally meet underneath the Christmas tree right before they, you know, they go back to the hotel and they have the rest of the family. That's such a great scene, you know. You know, I think the two best scenes in the two Home Alone films are when, you know, Kevin finally, Kevin and his mom finally meet once again and they finally say they're sorry and everything. Um, it's not as um, impactful in this one. I think it's a lot more impactful in the first one. But just being there around the giant Christmas tree, it's just so, it's just such an amazing scene. Um, and then right here we have the, you know, the cast and the staff all in Japanese. And then the actual credits up here are in, you know, are in English right there. And then you got the chapter tracks for side one and side two all written in Japanese. And more info down here. And again, this is an NTSC. So if I had a laser disc player, I'd be able to watch these, but unfortunately, I don't. And this one says 1994. And then I'll show off the actual laser disc itself. There we go. And once again, the blue, you know, continues on, uh, which I really like. You know, like I said, it goes great with the, uh, you know, the cover and then, you know, the outline of the city around Home Alone 2. I like how the blue just continues. There you go. All right. And, uh, yeah, guys, that is it. Uh, I'm very, very happy to own these because, like I said, I've been wanting to own a Laserdisc release of Home Alone. Uh, but for some reason, they're just so expensive on, like, Amazon. Um, and some people have, you know, cheaper ones on sale. Like, I know somebody had a, had one on sale that I was going to buy. And it was only about, like, 10 or $11. And I was like, hey, can I see more pictures? And he said... Uh, yeah, sure, and he, you know, showed them to me, and then I said, okay, I might be buying it sometime next week, and he's like, all right, cool, um, you know, let me know, because I know that they're getting harder to find, and then after that, he raised the price up to, like, 30 bucks, and I'm like, really? Um, you know, so for some reason, people think that these are, I mean, these are really popular movies, and a lot of people want them, obviously, and they are getting a little bit harder to find as far as the U.S. ones, but, um, you know, I just found the two two Japanese laser discs for only twenty bucks. So you know, I guess uh, I guess it's more popular. I guess you know more people will uh, spend more in the U.S. Uh, for them. Um, oh, I actually have these backwards. I just realized. I, don't know. I guess because uh, the blue uh, Obi right here goes nice with the blue for uh, the Home Alone Two cover, but that's what they're supposed to look like with the Obis right there. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm just really happy I found them. Like I said. Home Alone 1 and 2 are two of my all-time favorite movies. You know, I grew up watching them, and I'm just so happy to own them. Not only on Laserdisc, but on Japanese Laserdiscs. Uh, and these are these just look great. So, anyway, guys, thanks everybody for watching. I do plan on doing an updated Home Alone collection video uh, that will include these. I might do it, you know, in the next couple weeks, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about these Laserdiscs. Let me know if you own Home Alone on Laserdisc, Home Alone 1 and 2. Let me know in the comments. As always, if you guys want to join my movie collecting Facebook group, I'll leave a link down below. If you guys want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, I'll also leave links down below for those. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.